My kids will make fun of it the whole way. Eight 
days, the exact time you needed to rededicate the ceremony and rededicate the temple. And so today, to commemorate the triumph of, of faith and courage over military might and to celebrate that burning oil, we light one candle for the Maccabee children because thanks that their light didn't die. We light one candle for the pain they endured when their right to exist was denied. We light one candle for the terrible sacrifice justice and freedom demand. We light one candle with the wisdom to know when the peacemaker's time is at hand. Don't let the light go out. It's lasted for so many years. Don't let the light go out. Let it shine through our joy and our tears. Now, over time, games have become another very important way to celebrate Hanukkah. Does anybody know what this is? Dreidel. What is it? Dreidel. You scream it out. Dreidel. 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 It's a dreidel. That's right, it's kind of a spinning top. Because Jews were forbidden to study the Torah, they had to use this, this, this dreidel as a way to secretly teach Jewish lessons. Now you can see on each side, they have words. It says nun, gimel, che, and shin, meaning a great miracle happened there. Now a second really fun way to celebrate, you guys are going to like this one, it's through the giving of gifts especially the children on each of the nights of Hanukkah. After we would do the story in my house, we would open our gifts. And now the gifts, they could be big or small. They could be fun. They could be thoughtful gifts. <laughs> but it didn't matter because the gifts were the gift of light and life that came from the miracle, that burning oil. Now in some families, you can open one gift on each night of Hanukkah or... In other families, you can open all of them on one night. And they could be small. They could be gelt, these chocolate coins. They could be money. And, and I remember in my family, we would wait till the eighth day to open the biggest gift. And I can still remember my brother and I both getting matching green and blue bicycles. So you can see why this is exciting to children, right? Now, the third and most creative way to celebrate Hanukkah, I think we're all in agreement, is the parties. I can still see all my cousins and my aunts and my uncles and the kids from Hebrew school and, and people from around the block even as the tables would just pile higher and higher with food and we would just eat and eat until we got to the most important part of the meal. The potato pancakes, the latkes, and the jelly donuts. Now why is that the most important part, you ask? And that's okay because remember, asking questions is a good thing. Now we would eat foods fried in oil so we can remember the miracle of the burning oil. And in my family, it got a little crazy. In my family, I can remember one year, we had apple latkes, and one year we even had tuna latkes, <laughs> as the parents would try to have this competition on who could have the most creative fried treats. Yep, it's a good one. And I can still hear all the little children playing Maccabee Freeze Tag, or the three games of dreidel going on at the same time as all the kids are trying to win more guilt. And then, at the end, Everybody would turn the music off, and everybody would stand up and dance the hora. And by the end of the night, the music was whatever you wanted. Clap with me. Those were the nights of Hanukkah. I remember long ago when our families got together, little eyes that glow, multicolored candles burning, and the joyous songs were sung. How I miss those menorah lights when we were oh so young. Every time I would see the lights of Hanukkah, it fills my heart with such a feeling of warmth for family and communities coming together to remember and celebrate the light and to rededicate ourselves to be the light. And all of that is the answer to the question, why do we celebrate the lights of Hanukkah? From one generation to the next, these lights are symbols. They're symbols of family and friends and, and hope and, and communities and, and dedication and determination and freedom and goodwill, and we pass that light on. Everybody sing this if you know it. Oh, Hanukkah, Hanukkah, the light of the menorah. Let's have a party, we'll all dance the horror. Gather around the table, we'll give you a treat. Save you on your pay with a lot of you eat. And while you are dancing, the candles are burning low. One for each night they shed us, we'd like to remind us of days long ago. One for each night they shed us, we'd like to remind us of days long ago. Hawk Samayan, happy Hanukkah everyone! And enjoy the rest of your days and holidays around the world. In a few moments 
Mariano will be coming out to teach about Kwanzaa.